Um, <clears throat> I think it's important to say that everything that we do, we want to do it relationally and conversationally um, and also about allocating people to home churches geographically because we want people to really be salt and light, um, Jesus followers in their area with the people that they're living with and doing life with. Um, we will help allocate people to home churches uh, through overseers that we want to release, through leaders, um, but it will all be done in relationship and in conversation. Um, and when can it start? It can start now. So already we're having lots of conversations from people saying, you know, when can I start home church or where shall I go for home church? And so it begins now. We want to have those conversations now. And very soon we hope to have some way of people even just kind of signing up to be in a home church as well. So when we say it begins now, we mean the conversations begin now. The, somebody texted me yesterday uh, and they said, hey, just caught up with Sunday's service and uh, I just want to offer my home, and I'm happy to lead a group, and these are the people I could see in the group. And I uh, talked to Esther about it. We had a little prayer. actually felt the Lord is on all of that. We recognize and affirm it and said, next step, would you at least just watch all of those home church e-course videos, maybe do it with a small group, come back, and we'll start a conversation. It's far more relational. It's just a journey together. But it, that was, I mean, that was such a simple way to do it. S had an email in the week from somebody who said, we, we listen Sunday, we're really up for this. Our home is open, but we're going to need about two months to be ready to be able to do some of that because of personal circumstances. And we were like, that's perfect. So we, what I'm trying to say, it's conversational, it's relational, and it's a journey together towards what God is saying and doing.